What's up guys, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive and today we're gonna to show you how to remove your headlights and grill on your 2020 or newer 2500, 3500 GM truck. So we're working on this 2022 2500 behind me and we just finished removing the headlights and grill and we're gonna take you through a step-by-step -step guide showing how to do that. The reason we're removing this is to upgrade to the LTZ style LED headlights on this 2500. So if you're interested in knowing how to do that, check out the video at the link above. Um, if you're here just to remove the grill and headlights, stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Once your hood is open, you are going to remove these push pins. These are a two part push pin. If you've ever taken a grill off of a GM truck, it's kind of the same design for all of them. Get your pry tool under there, you're gonna pop the top up and then you can pull the base of the pin out. Sometimes the top will come fully off. There we go. If you were having trouble getting your pry tool in there like I was, you could take a flathead screwdriver to get it started. So get that gap and then get your trim removal tool and pop up the tab. I like this uh, because if you pry just from one side, these this plastic is pretty thin and flimsy and it tends to bend. So if you can apply equal force all the way around the pin, that is gonna help keep it from uh, getting broken. And then, so just keep working your way around. And you might just be able to do it with the screwdriver. That one came out easy. And there's also a few that run along the backside here. Then two more on the outside edges or outside corners, one on each side. At this point, you have a couple options. You could just lift this and get to the four 10 millimeter uh, screws that hold the top of the front grill in place. Um, or you can remove this lever arm right here and it's just held in by two 15, T15 screws. So it's easy enough. We're just gonna undo these real quick. And that will slide right off. And now we can lift this top tray out. To remove the wheel well liner, there's a whole bunch of T15 uh, little screws that hold it in place. So we're gonna pull those out. Little 90 degree adapter like this works really well. Right in the middle here is a push pin, just like that, just like was holding the top. Right here in the middle is a push pin, similar to the ones that were holding the shroud up front that we first removed. Now we need to remove a portion of this fender trim, at least loosing it, because we have to remove this corner piece that's around the headlight right here. Um, so this is held in by a whole bunch of clips. You can just pull this straight out. Um, the clips are a little bit prone to failure though, so if you can reach in and kind of squeeze them and then pull out, you have a better chance of not breaking it. So I just went in there with my fingers. It's a little white clip. I just squeezed it just to remove some of the tension and pulled it out. Um, now there are two clips, or three total rather, one, two, three, that hold this trim piece into this front, I don't know what you call this, <laughs> part around the headlight. All right, so we ended up needing to release this wheel well trim or fender flare a little bit more. So there was the first three we released right here, and then there's three more um, that go here and it keeps going obviously, but we released three more to get us access to a seven millimeter uh, little bolt that holds this front cover panel in place. So these two are actually smaller and this one in the middle is a little bit longer and yellow for some reason. Um, and the ones down here are these longer, more triangular ones. As you can see, we broke two. Um, I did just call a local dealer, we're gonna get replacements, but there's actually three different ones. So when you call them, if you do break any of these, um, it might take a little while to figure out which ones you actually need. Maybe just get a few of them. I'm not sure how expensive they are yet, um, but um, we'll have the part numbers for these linked down in the description once we get those from the dealer. So if you do break any, you can pick up new ones. Um, but let's go ahead and remove this seven millimeter bolt right here. With that seven millimeter removed, you're just gonna have clips holding this in. Now they're gonna be holding it in pretty tight, but there's a clip right here you can see on the base, that one's pretty easy to see. Um, there's gonna be a row of clips all along the top of this panel between the fender 
and the cover plate. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick them up, but way up in here, almost towards where the headlight is, are two more clips. All right, so we took our metal trim tool that we were using on those top push pins and we popped this out right here. So that's the easy one to get. And now we're gonna work with our hands up here a little bit and start pulling this away from the fender. So there's a total of five clips. You have to release one, two, three, four, five. This bottom one wasn't too bad. It was still very tight. I was then able to work my hand in, get the second one released. And then we had to pull from the top here, just getting a couple fingers and reaching my hand behind, we pulled it straight out. You wanna make sure you're pulling it straight out. If you go at an angle at all, you're gonna be fighting it. It needs to come straight out off of these clips. So you wanna be applying as much outward force as possible. There is also one clip right here. That one, looking up inside, had already mostly released. So this one wasn't really fighting us, but these are very snug. So it's gonna be scary. It takes a lot of force, but it will come off. Just make sure you pull straight out. All right, now you're gonna keep working out towards the front. Those came out much easier. And now let's just figure out what's fighting me here. There's a little rubber seal at the bottom. There you go. So there's just a little rubber lip. This will bend out of your way, but that kind of tucks down behind the bumper. So you're gonna have to like pull it out. But all right, so looking at the back side, here are all the clips that we had to work with or work against kind of. There's this one down here in the corner. That's the first one we released. And then when we shot the camera up in there, I don't know if we saw this, but there's another one up here, kind of in this area. It clips in right here. And then uh, once you have all those free, it comes out really easily. As you saw, there's just two more clips right here and those have to come out. And then this piece is out. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Um, and the reason you have to remove this first is actually, you'll see here, the grill kind of sits behind it. Um, so there's this little lip coming off the grill right here. And if you try to remove the grill first, that's not gonna come off. Also, there's another 10 millimeter right down here and you're gonna have the same on the other side. So you gotta unscrew that too. So um, yeah, these definitely have to come off first. All right, so now that you've seen the back of the other one, let's talk you through this. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and release this bottom clip right here. Okay, so that bottom clip is released. Now we're gonna go up here and release that. All right. Oh, that one came out the whole way there. So you kind of get to see that. Now I'm gonna grab up here because there's still one more clip up here and just pull straight out. Okay. And then we have the two up front here. On this side they're holding a little tighter than the other side for some reason. Oh, there it goes, okay. And wiggle that out. Now we can remove these two lower 10 millimeters. So now we're ready to pull the grill off. It's held in by a whole bunch of clips. Um, there's gonna be one clip down here. Grab one, pull that out. Um, there's a clip dead center here. I'll try to grab, this is a beefy clip. But these also kind of clip in up top here. So you gotta make sure that those are released. They have little uh, notches that go down into this cross brace right here. So make sure that those are released. So even though it just looks like flat plastic, there is a notch on the bottom. So make sure that it is fully released up top. We'll have it sitting back a little bit. And then you're gonna wanna, and I think I just popped one of those back in. Yes, I did. Okay. All right, so that center clip is now released. Um, basically what I did while making sure that none of these popped in, I just went in the top right where the gap is and I just pressed in and that forced the bumper out or the grill out I should say okay I think the corners are what's holding us now so um, as you move over to the corners you feel stuff all your clips are in this area so there you go Having two people for this would be really good to make sure the grill doesn't fall. So these are our two center clips. These really uh, were in there snug. Um, so 
they might fight you a little bit. What I, said, what I was trying to describe is I was putting the screwdriver flat down here and it was going in and creating a gap here so I could release that. Um, and then you have four clips that are held into the headlights and then two more of these beefy clips, one on each side. All right, so we're ready to pull out the headlights now. There are a total of six 10 millimeter screws that hold them in. We have two down here, two up top, and then there's two on the side. Now your headlight won't just fall out. There's some pins holding it in place as well. Um, right up here is that pin I mentioned that holds this in place. So you gotta lift this out. It's like notched in there. Pretty tight actually. I might have to get a pry tool to get that out. So we're gonna try to get this screwdriver under here and see if I can pop this open. There it goes. All right. Get the headlight out. Now we just gotta disconnect all our wires going to the back. Disconnect this electrical connection right here. There's a gray retaining zip tie right here. Just releasing with the trim tool. Goes. Now, this is not what yours is gonna look like. He is running a snowplow. So he has it tapped off of this connection right here. So you will not have this extra wire. All right, guys, so that is how you remove the headlights and grill on your 2020 or newer 2500 or 3500 GM truck, specifically the Silverado. I'm assuming the GMC Sierra is somewhat similar, although they have a little bit different of a grill. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them down below, and we'll see you back in the next video.